Good morning, everyone. Day three. It is 525. We're backing out. I wanted to take you through a little bit of the pre-workout today um, before we get to the gym. Just to explain what's in it. I am really dark right now. <laughs> Got the phone set up so that I can film while I drive, although it appears you're not going to be able to see anything. Hang on, let's get some light in here. The pre-workout is always the Transparent Labs pre-lean, but I also have started adding a scoop of creatine powder to that as well. Thorn is the favorite brand that I like. I use these two as a pre-workout simply because the creatine always helps get the muscle ready, reducing the soreness, and allowing myself to perform on top of what's in the Transparent Labs powder. The gym is crowded today. Let's talk about what we're going to do. I hope there's enough light in here to see. Um, so, I'm going to drink the pre-workout. We just talked about that while uh, I talked to you for a second. Um, today, day three, we're doing that medium long distance run. I'm thinking about an hour and a half. We'll see how we feel. Um, don't want to push it, but again, I want you to remember that while we, we said we want to work to work up to 434 as far as the number of hours um, that we run a week and adding in the 12th hour if possible, that does mean that on these three days, the bulk of the run load has to be done. So Monday, Friday always need to be longer. Wednesday can be played with because the ultimate goal is by the time we finish Friday's run, we're at that 11 hour, 12 hour mark. And so we have to make it up somewhere if we didn't make it up on Monday. Now, this first week is probably not going to get us to 12 because I told you I was just a little over two hours on Monday. So we're going to see how far we go today. Again, steady state in the hopes of we're not straining anything. Um, nothing's getting too sore. I feel great today, even from the squats yesterday. I'm not sore. Um, and so nutrition, I feel fine. Hunger's not set in yet. Pre-workout's going to help me with that, but we're going to see how far this pre-workout can really go uh, today as far as, you know, running on empty, quite literally. So that's what we're going to do. I actually brought the GoPro today. Let's hope that um, it turns on. Let's see if it'll turn on for me. Hey, it turned on. So I'm going to try to set this up, film a little bit. I don't want to bore you too much with the, um, the run. As far as that goes but I want to start showing a little bit of gym footage and quite honestly it's a little bit embarrassing for me to bring the phone in film and talk but if I can set up the GoPro in a corner or a spot to show you what we're doing I'm going to try to start incorporating that too so let's get in see what time we get out and we'll talk more about it Stopped again. So I got to an hour and a half, hour and a half felt great. Um, outside of that sock lighter doing what it did, and I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do with that shoe. I love the shoe, but I can't tolerate the sock lighter. The sock lighter actually made me change my foot strike 
um, because I was tr going to try to get two hours. I thought I got to an hour and a half, felt good, felt strong, did not feel tired at all in between 1.30 and 1.45. <clears throat> the, um, yeah, my foot strike changed so much that the left hamstring started straining a little bit. So I stopped immediately. So I'm not sure, you know, these are um, $180 pair of shoes. I, luckily, found the last 13s on Amazon and got them for like 80 bucks. So maybe I ought to take that with a dose of salt there. Um, thinking, you know, I've never had Brooks do this and I've worn Brooks for years. Um, and then like I said, took a couple of years off, tried some other brands and thought this was a shoe for me. So I'm not, I'm not really sure whether I should get another pair of sock liners or just return these shoes. I don't know if it's the shoe or the sock liner. Um, I think I might have a pair of old sock liners lying around that I might insert into these to see if they fit and if it moves and so forth. But yeah, that's just, it's just getting to be too irksome to, to put up with. So um, would definitely, definitely during a half marathon cause uh, blisters or quite honestly probably really just make me want to pull it out of the shoe to continue to run and um, it went so far back so far back you you saw I mean the entire the entire first what, 25 30 percent of my foot was just over that sock liner and so every time that you hit you don't feel supported and you feel that sock liner move back even further so anyway <clears throat> other than that great run we're going to head back home it's only a few minutes after eight so we've got a couple hours before food window not exactly sure yet what we're going to do for first meal but workout's over and done let's get back it is 10 18 so we are breaking our fast i am going with the sludge bowl again two scoops of our protein powder we're going to make it a little higher calorie today we're going to add one scoop of our bulletproof collagen because again our hamstrings are a little bit tight that's going to have 20 grams of hydrolyzed collagen and 18 grams of protein in that we're still going to use our super creamer with our mct oil as our liquid base and then today we're actually going to add a tablespoon of really good peanut butter. It is just peanuts and salt. So again, you know the drill, the nutritional facts will go on the screen. This is 190 more calories, but I'm starting to fill it day three. Um, the hunger has really kicked in. We told you we might be adding a carb source. I don't think I'm gonna to have to do that today, but I am gonna up the ante a little bit uh, with some peanut butter just drizzled over the top. I'll show you when I get it finished. All right, meal number one is complete. Here is the peanut butter topped. It may not look the best, but I'm sure it's gonna taste amazing. Okay, lunch today, it is 1.40. I'm actually gonna eat some beef jerky. I like this beef jerky. This is Tillamook Zero Sugar. Grass-fed Irish cheddar. We're gonna have two ounces of that. So kind of more of a snack than a meal. But again, nutrition's on the board. This is gonna be lunch. Hot off the grill, same thing, different day for dinner. But we are going to change a little bit of that. So I, I apologize that my last video was so short. I am, I'm roughed up. I feel, I feel the depletion today. Um, so we are going to eat a quarter, well, a double quarter pounder with bacon. But we're also going to go back home and I'm going to make um, a few of our hot dogs, which again, we've shown before on the vlog, but um, that's what we're gonna eat as uh, an accompaniment to our burgers, third day in a row. You can cut it. Why did I go this way? All right, we've got a tablespoon of butter. We actually butterfly our hot dogs. We're gonna cook these on medium high for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna have two, Julie's gonna have two. And remember these are the boar's head, 
natural, unpreserved, no nitrates, nitrites, all beef, hot dogs. One more time, nutrition's going on the board. And we hope it's 347. This is the last meal of the day. Kombucha to go. Nothing exciting, but I think it'll do the job for dinner today. Okay guys, just like last night, lacking a little bit of protein. This is gonna get me to 179 uh, grams for the day. I'm not gonna put this on uh, the screen because you can see the calorie and the carb content here. So we're gonna finish off with this. It's a little after five, and then I'll be back to show you what kombucha flavor that we choose tonight. All right, tonight is Julie's homemade kombucha. Well, we had a sale going on, so that's why I showed you different flavors. And sometimes Jules needs extra bottles when she's making her booch. I can't tell you the exact nutritional value of this, but we do not make it with white sugar. And so I'm gonna go along with the same type of nutritional value that's on the back of our Synergy bottles. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit to tell you good night and what our totals were for the day. All right, guys, that is another one in the books. Just like we take care of our body, we gotta take care of our face. We've got a, a sugar scrub on. We've had sun the last few days. So I am so hungry, I can't even begin to explain <laughs> how hungry I am. Uh, but I think we thought that was gonna happen uh, by day three. So. Um, also, I will probably be turning in early tonight. We are traveling tomorrow and we have a 6.15 flight time. 6.15 flight time. So that means Michael is going to have to get up sometime before 4 o'clock. More like 3 or 3.15. Um, I'm still going to try to vlog it and uh, see if we get up. That will be the first thing if you see the video tomorrow. But um, anyway, that was it calories everything is on the uh, the screen tomorrow is going to be another we hope i hope another lift day the main thing i want to do is deadlift and then i'll probably show you a little bit of our travels see what snacks that we get to to kind of you know hold up our nutrition for tomorrow have a good night guys bright and early in the morning i'll see you